Hello everybody, Nathan here once again with another look at the sub games progress. Um So I haven't really had too much time to work on anything new. Uh I think I pointed this out last week, but it's worth repeating. Jungle grass is spreading way too much. So that needs to be toned back. I have toned it back. However, um it won't do anything for the existing grass because it's not going to make it disappear. For some reason, grass back here has not started growing in this area, and I don't know why. Not sure if it's because the ABM checks neighbors, and if this lower node isn't considered a neighbor of that. That wouldn't seem to make sense. Because it grows up without any issues at all. But it doesn't seem to want to grow down. So I'm not positive. And it might be that somehow, because I tend to be in this area over here, that that's somehow out of range for the ABM. But I, my viewing distance is set pretty far, and I thought that's what kind of controlled that. But anyways, this has definitely grown over way too much. It's a sign that I'm sitting here way too often testing things out and not actually uh, walking around in the world enough. So let's... um. Let's take a quick look at the new changes that we have. Um, I have updated the Goblins mod like five or six times since the last recording. Uh, they just keep pushing out new changes and the pictures in the thread, they keep getting better and better. So that looks fun. Um, all these errors you're seeing at the top of the screen here, that is from the Goblins. There are some mistakes yet, yeah, evidently. Um, but it's very whip. I mean, they're, they're pushing updates like every day, sometimes multiple a day. So it's to be expected. I also added the, um, I just did a mod review. If you watch my other videos of path V six alt, I added that into this world. You will probably not see them at all ever in my update videos here because I have went around enough in this world to generate chunks. And that only generates a new chunks. So we probably will not be seeing those, but that has been added. Wheels Torch, I talked about last week. Still here. And the snares. Last week I had just started on it. And I believe I had just the basic snare here to show off. And I think that was it that we had at that point, was just the simple snare. I have done some work. The snare has been updated and is more cool now. Um I could have sworn that was more centered. Well, anyways, um, we have a simple snare, which you can bait with anything, and it turns it into a baited snare. You pull your bait out, puts it back to a simple snare. Um, so that's cool. Like I said, you can bait it with anything. So, though I had issues... Oh, no, wait, that was after I reset it. I'll have to try that again. So you can bait it with anything. The function that controls capturing animals will look at what it's baited with. So if I bait a trap with an oil lamp, I am not going to ever catch anything with this trap because an oil lamp is not going to be in any of the groups that are needed to bait animals. Okay, well, I haven't written these functions yet. So right now I can, I can bait this, but nothing will ever happen. So let's throw some raw meat in there just for kicks and giggles. So we have a baited trap. Now what happens when, um, you know, we catch something? Well, then we're going to get this trap, which looks identical. Probably because it is. Um, I may change that in the future. I may, I'm going to look into entities, I think they are, and see if I can, like, make whatever you baited the trap with kind of float in the center there. And then the trap with game, make the game float in the center. I don't know if that's going to be possible, but we're going to try it. Okay, so pretty much this will be once you've caught something. We will have a picture of the animal here, and it'll tell you to put the critter out of its misery. You have two options, release the game or harvest the game. When you release the game, I'm really hoping I can do this, and no promises. I'm hoping that we can make, actually, whatever mob you caught here, because these will not be anything based on the world. This is all going to be chance and timers for catching animals. I'm hoping that we can set up when you release the game that whatever animal's trapped there will actually spawn right here and then head on its merry way to go wherever. 
And then, of course, you could hack it down with a machete if you so chose. I don't know why you would, though, because this is the, the interesting thing that I'm coming up to. The reason I opt to use these two buttons here was because I had been thinking, well, okay, so we catch an animal. We just take the animal from there and put them in inventory. But then I thought, well, okay, how do I get anything from this animal? If I take an animal and put it in a crafting grid, I can only get one output. I want it so when you, you know, you butcher this animal, you get multiple outputs. So that's what we have this harvest game button for. This harvest game, obviously, this isn't all coded yet, but when this is clicked, you will pretty much butcher the animal. So you will get some raw meat, uh, and depending on the animals, I'm going to make some extra meats. So we'll get different meats depending on what animal you're getting. You'll get meat, you'll get fur if it's a furry animal. Um, I might do like a a um, like a like scaly skin kind of thing for reptiles. So we'll get some options there. And then depending on you know the size of the game and stuff, you will get different amounts. So that is how I'm going to act on that. Because, like I said, if you tried to craft something, you could only get one output. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to make them just automatically go in your inventory. If your inventory is already full, it'll just throw them on the ground. That's my hope. Again, I haven't coded any of this yet, so I don't know. Then, notice how it says here, check back off to see if you caught something. That actually will be important. Because there's going to be an ABM that runs on the simple snare with game. So there would be something caught in here. And this ABM is going to run. And... At random intervals, and I don't know what timing I'm going to use yet, it is going to actually um, release the critter. And this is what you'll be looking at once that has functioned. A rated snare. Which pretty much just tells you, looks like something stole your catch. Reset trap. And you click reset trap. Ta-da! And we go back to an empty trap. With this being the bait. Now, at the moment... Every single one of these nodes has a bait inventory and a, I think I'm calling it a game inventory. So this one, even though you only have a spot where you can see the game, it still has a bait inventory. And theoretically, the bait still exists in that. The rated snare, oh, let me put those back out. Um, the rated snare, whoops, the rated snare here still has both inventories. You just can't see either of them. And I'm afraid when you reset this trap, your bait is going to reappear in there, which is then going to flip that over to being the baited snare, which is then going to show the game in it. I don't think that's going to do anything that's going to change it to this, because that's not how that works. That'll just be, again, a function, an ABM probably running on baited snares. So I don't think that would turn it back to this. Hoping it doesn't turn it into a loop. Um, I know I can do, and this will probably end up getting coded in on the... Man, i got to put out another rated snare here. I'm going to have so many snares. Oh, whoops. Didn't let me put out two. Um, I'll probably end up putting code in so when it gets rated that both inventories are emptied. And that way I'll just avoid that altogether. I still need some tweaking. I do not understand this at all. Because on my laptop where I was doing all the coding, this was centered. And this box just barely held it. And I know I'm doing it in full HD here, so I have a larger screen. Which makes my inventory slots larger. But it doesn't make text larger. Oh, that's why. Ugh. I don't know how I'm going to make that work. I don't think I have an option to, like, center or anything. I'll have to look into that. Um, traps currently at this state are diggable. Except for the baited trap. Because it has something in inventory. I don't want you losing your inventories. Um, however, that will not be the case. No, I need water. That's why I'm taking damage here. That will not be the case in the future, however. Um, the only trap that will be diggable is an empty or a rated trap. And you will always just get an empty trap from digging them. I don't know why this rated trap is... Oh, wait, this is a basic trap. See, I don't... 
This is this is what I was having the problem with before. I can't dig the simple no or the simple snare here. Let me just time back to morning. But this simple one, as soon as I pull this bait out, turns back to a simple trap. That can be dug without any issues. And now I can overcome this. Oh, this is where I was seeing that problem. The twig doesn't act as bait into the snare after it's been reset by the but a stick does and I can pull that stick out and then it turns it back to a empty trap which I can dig so there is something screwy in there that makes it think oh wait but now the stick's not working but it worked that time hmm so there's gotta be something messed up in the code I will work on that. Uh, that is pretty much the only update, guys, is those traps. Um, actually, the reason that's the only update is... Let me just... Oh, why am I playing a trap thing? Let me just throw these rated snaps traps out. Because I only just learned how to do these buttons. And I have a different mod out that Don and I made, the My Landscaping mod. And, um... I want to use buttons in that so we can get more landscape bricks. And I think I will be adding that mod to this sub game because it is actually a pretty fun mod. Um, but I just learned how to do these buttons, so I was spending some time with those. Also, bum, 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 bum. We have on my website now available the ability to request mod reviews. Let me just pull it up really quick off screen here because uh, it popped up off screen, I guess. Oh, full screen, full screen. And actually, I want to jump right to my test. Right here, it says click here to request a mind test mod review. Oh, actually, it doesn't say that. It's actually, learn to read. Click here to request a mod review. I know I'm not doing a mod review video here, but I wanted to point this out. If you guys want a review of a mod, this is the form to fill out. I will provide the link in the description below as long as well as the link to download the video or download the sub game from GitHub. So you just fill in this info here, hit the submit button. Of course, these fields have to be filled in. I get an email and then I take that into consideration. And who knows, your suggestion might just make my next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you in next week with some more updates for the sub game. As always, if you have any problems, concerns, questions, suggestions, feel free to either leave me a comment in the comment section below, or on GitHub, you can open up an issue if you've got problems with the subgame, and I will do my best to get those remedied as quickly as possible. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next week.